Where is she? <laughs> Why? Was she your girlfriend? What did you do to her? <laughs> I'm putting a 5.7 liter Tundra V8 in her. Crazy. Oh, I'm much more than that, bright boy. I'm much more. All right, boys, what's up? I got Bear here with me today. Wait, I forgot my own name. What's up, guys? My name is Mikey Swartz. I'm watching Whip Bash. I mean, you're watching Whip Bash. Here we have Bear with me. You may have seen Bear on previous episodes. So I was like, Bear, give me a hand with this. So he stopped by. He's gonna help me put this transmission back on this engine. Look, he thinks he's gonna do it all by himself. Yeah, this is just a prelude, bro. I'll, I'll just give you a hand with that then. Just, just chill, chillax. Damn, this lens is all filthy. We're gonna bolt this all back together so we have one big unit again, because now that this cab's pulled off the truck, we're gonna set this back down in here and about the location of where it would be four inches further back than what it was when we test fit it with the cab. Because the whole cab's going back four inches, we're gonna try to line the cab up with these brackets that I had already moved back. In fact, four and a quarter inches. So that's the number we're gonna go with, about four and a quarter. I already cut this out with a plasma cutter because the oil pan was gonna hit right here. And I think when we get it into place, it's gonna work out pretty good. I think the oil drain is gonna fall right into this slot now. So we'll be able to drain the oil through there. Something else I'm gonna keep my eye on is this intermediate steering shaft. It was sitting at about an angle like this. It's gonna fall down more like this now and I'm gonna have to lengthen it but the mount was really close to it already and it's gonna move two inches back now to make it fall into place. If that steering shaft isn't in the way, then I'm probably gonna to opt to use the Tundra brackets and engine mounts. But if it is in the way, I might be forced to use the Tacoma mounts. Just because they're a little smaller, they'll give that thing more room. But we won't know until we get the engine set in there and see what it looks like. Didn't really show this in the last Tacundra episode, but we did cut off the brackets for the transmission cross member. They look like this. Okay, they're on just like this. So these are gone now, grinded smooth, and I might reuse those, but they're gonna get moved back. I figure about 10 inches to make it work. I'm hoping to mount them up higher too, to tuck them into the frame. I don't want nothing to hang lower than the frame rails if possible. So that's gonna be the goal back there, but we won't really know till we get it set in there and see how it ends up. You wanna smell my butt from back there? Cause I could straddle it, I don't care. Getting gay. Getting gay, gay. Got some fluid squirting out over here already, Bear. Oh, I knew it was getting gay. Getting gay with Bear is here. Oh, shake around and roll. Keep shoving. Keep shoving. Oh, yeah. Harder. Harder, Bear. The pin's in the wrong hole. Squeal like a pig, boy. It's in the wrong hole. Okay, it's got a twist to the right, so. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, now you can slide it back in, Bear. Slide it in. Yes. Oh, yes. Wait. Hold on. No. You'll like to know that in the drift truck, I only had one bolt on each side because I broke the trans so often that I figured who cares? <laughs> it quicker, easier to change. Or is that why the trans broke so often? No, that was not why it broke. Yeah. I'm gonna check your pants on that one. You should have mic'd my butt for that. Before we even drop this in, I'm gonna put the Tundra mounts back on this Tundra engine and see how they fit inside the frame. Uh, by calculations, they should fit. I'm just not sure how much room we'll have around that steering shaft. Hoping these do work, because I prefer these mounts. They look a lot beefier. Had to put a ratchet strap under frame to frame to hold the back up. It's getting pretty close to where it should be. I do see this power steering pump is getting close to here. That's actually good. And that's gonna sit that engine back where it should be, you know? This is a concern. This has been a concern about sliding it back. 
whether or not I'll still be able to change the oil. If that's a problem, then that thing's gonna end up getting moved. Well, golly gee, it's Stubby McFly. What's up, buddy? Where have you been? Haven't seen you for a while, buddy. I just made a trip down to the local dumpster where I got this piece of bed frame. And if you've seen my bumper build video, you know I love bed frames because it's free angle iron. Sure, it's from China, but it works just fine. I'm gonna weld this piece of bed frame right up under the frame from frame rail to frame rail underneath this oil pan so I don't need this ratchet strap in here anymore. And then if I have to go up or down a little bit, I can adjust with uh, some pieces of wood or something in here. So this angle iron will hold it up kind of temporarily and then I can just cut the welds off of it later. What do you think, so Sam? By, what do you, um, what do you see, think? Um, I see what you're doing, but first and uh -huh. foremost, yeah, uh -huh. your steering yeah. gear is going to be so in the way of your exhaust. What, exhaust? I, I'm not even... Well, I didn't think it would be in the way of the exhaust, though. I think yeah, it's... Um, um, well, it depends. I don't, I don't know. I didn't foresee yeah. that, but maybe... I, don't know. I was more worried about the mounting brackets because they're going to be close. No, this, this is steeper than what it looks. This is going to be way up here. That's, that's going to be up like that. It can't be up like that. It's going to be up like that. Brain. It's going to be up oh, like that because okay, okay, it was hitting okay, this okay, before. Okay, okay, so okay, we're going to cut that block, off. The block. Okay, the block so, of wood is just mm, it's keeping it from teetering over. Uh, mm, okay. Yeah. Now here's what I got going on. I had to do this to get that lifted up with this. But now I got this piece of bed frame bed under frame. here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to weld the, the bed, bed frame, frame king. to keep Mikey it up. Mikey is the yes. bed frame king. We have That's like right. uh, 100 pounds. How many bed, bed frames frame do we have? 100 pounds, yeah. Probably do because I'm notorious for picking up bed frames when I see them. Why didn't you like uh, fill that in, patch that up while you had the motor? Oh, because I don't know how it has to be out. yet. Yeah, oh. yeah. We don't know how yeah, that okay. has to be just uh, yet. So, uh, all right. So there are no mount points at this point. Not yet. No, but uh, I have. Those are the Tundra brackets mm -hmm. on it right now. But this is four inches back. It's give or take two inches back. Because remember, the engine had was going to have to slide two inches forward. But instead, I slid it two inches back. Then the cab comes back four inches to match it. But I'm just right. trying to get it I'll pretty close I'll and then set the it. cab down, see if I can line up these holes with these mount, uh, with these brackets that had already moved back oh, four oh. and a quarter. What, the front holes? The front no, no, no. Wait, yeah, the front yes. holes, the original holes. Yes. So, so these the, bolts are gonna come out of here four and we and go back quarter. in the original holes, yeah. Well, I think that was what it was, four and a quarter? It was four and a quarter, yeah, we measured it. Yeah, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. I mean, I measured it once. Oh yeah, it's four and a quarter. What did I say? One. Okay. Sure, sure. All right. Yeah. So, uh, All but right. but right now I just got to get these out of here so and I can get the cab two down over. Because we were short two inches, so we should be dead on. Should be pretty close. Yeah. Well, and I don't know where the exact mark is. We won't know until the cab gets set down, and then I push this back as far as I can, and that's where it's going to end up. I love here. it when I I can. All I have to do is just like do the thinking. Mm -hmm. You guys can do all the garbage. Oh, that's here we go. I love it. Here we that go. Is what I love. Taking all you the know, credit. I come in. I do oh, like my. The, the oh, whole, my goodness. Well, what about this? Oh, for this crying out loud. Good. This is like. Well, that's probably still a little on the high side, but this is going to come out of here. By the way, guys, the only reason we haven't taken this out yet is because it's just kind of holding the frame together. You know, it's helping to sturdy it up. But this is going to get oh, actually, removed clear. or moved. It'll actually, or whatever. that'll clear. Yeah. That, well, that now, the other thing I want to try to do, though, the, the link. Yeah, but the other thing is, see, these transfer cases always hang down, and you can see it is hanging down below the frame, just about how it normally would. I want to tuck that as best I can, so I might actually tilt everything forward just a little to suck this up into the frame so it's not hanging down. I don't think it would hurt anything. And if I have to raise the tunnel here, that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I mean, raising the tunnel, that's no big deal. All right. I think you have the clearance. Clarence. Yeah. Well, I see it working. All right. Well, I see 10 seal of approval. All right. I'm going to weld this here bed frame in. Got this here bed frame welded in now, and I just slid this little piece of wood that just makes it snug. And now we can break this loose. 
and now that's going to lay right there which means we can get rid of all this stuff all right i pushed the chassis forward now so i should be able to drop this body right down over this and then i can just roll the chassis back till it's in place i wish i had an extra person right now but i don't so i'll just see what all i can mess up some of these hoes up in here Again. Okay, oh, she's a tight one over here. Check this firewall. Plenty of room. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on back here? Oh, okay. We're hitting a uh, uh, fuel tank bracket right there. That's going to have to go. I'm just going to pull that bracket off. Oh, figures it's welded on Ooh, heard something oh, so close over here I need some of those uh, dolly wheels there's little skates that go under so I can push chassis over this way just a little but I don't have any This would slide over, but I don't think it's going to. Let's see, we've got to turn it this way. Whoa. 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 It's steered towards me. Yep. Just put some pressure. Oh, okay. good, dude. good. Nice guy. Yeah. Are you serious? That doesn't yeah. seem like it moved much. Let's move these f***ing hoses on the floor. It might make it roll easier. Just watch it, see if anything's going to hit. I'll find it hitting nothing right now because it's just, I don't think it's back. Hold on, you're, your body's about to hit the front of the control arm right here. Just slide that back. Now we're hitting, now we're hitting. Okay, what's it hitting? The steering Valve thing? cover. Well, yeah, the steering it. thing is hitting the uh, steering So shape. roll forward just a little and drop it some more. Look at that. Yep. Okay, see that, boys? Just gonna line up right about what there. the girls, can they see it too? Oh, it's gonna look good where those tires slid forward too. I'd say so too. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Now, um, what's that, that do for our story. engine though? I think the engine is actually not slid back as far as it should be. I think you shot so we're back. gonna be able to slide the engine back further but for now let's set this cab down a little more oh, hold, up, hold up hold up what do you see now we're on that here now we're off the lead George. okay coming down oh it's starting to settle on the frame because I can see the frame moving all right okay we're just about on wait the why is this control. side this side ain't touching though is that side touching nah, yeah I wonder why it's not well, what's it laying on on oh it might be laying on the transmission yeah. Actually, I never test fit the tranny, and it might be up too high. I bet that's what it's hitting. For now, I'm not going to worry about that's that. No, it's just body out right here, just so this gets on the way. The, the Is that hit? Oh, well, then that's what's hitting. See right here. Okay, yeah, we do need to notch these. So go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, that's let's lift it. Well, actually. Easy. Well, while it's there, I'm going to crawl under it and see if the right tranny here. is hitting. Let me stick my head under here. Let's see. Um, you know, it's hard to say, but I don't think it is hitting. It's it's getting pretty close, but I don't think it's hitting yet. Oh, am I gonna hit that? You still over there? Oh, look, gold like grams over here. As you can see, these upper control arms are gonna hit uh, right about here. Is where they were hitting. So I'm just gonna notch this like out around here, just to make sure there's plenty of clearance, clearance. We'll do the same over here. Move this out of the way. It's just wiring for airbag sensors. We don't want that anyway, you know? Got this notched out over here. Now this side's a little funky. I don't know what I was thinking on this side. I cut up here. I didn't realize the wheel well went down like this. There's like this extra bracket up here for the battery tray, which by the way, I'm gonna move that battery to the back. Everything I can move to the back, it's going to the back. But I don't know, I was just feeling a little off when I cut this and I'm not sure what's going on tonight, but like I just keep feeling itchy. Like no matter what, like I'm scratching like everywhere. I just keep getting itchy. It's weird. Like. 
Oh, it's getting so bad. Oh, it's getting really bad right now. Oh, oh God, it's so itchy. Oh, shit. Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on, bright boy. <laughs> Don't you know anything? <laughs>